And we're gonna put a little toothpick in it. And we're gonna set them right in here. <laughs> Hello there everyone, this is Highland Homestead and Go Go Mama here in our kitchen. As I told you the other time from cooking, we are going to do some duck. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to sear the duck and then we're going to put some bacon wrap on it, pop it in the oven, and let's see how that goes. So let's get our salt and pepper on. I forgot to turn on the stove. I put a little bit of olive oil in here. Now, the reason I did that is because we do not have the duck fat on the top. These are strictly non-fat, and the fatty part of the duck is the skin. So, we do not have the skin here. So we're going to sear these right up um, on this stove and then we're going to bacon wrap them. Boy, that doesn't that sound good guys? Just a bacon wrap. And we're going to serve these with some potato. We're going to add some thyme later. So I've added onion powder and also garlic powder here for today. So we're going to take these pieces and we're just going to pop them right in here. Listen to that sear. I love, I love to hear that. And because remember, we do not have the part of the duck that is the fatty skin, we need a little bit of olive oil to get her going. We're gonna sear these right up. Now, as these are searing, I want to tell you, our bacon here today that we're using is our homemade bacon that we have made from scratch from our pigs, harvested right here on the farm or on the homestead, whatever you want to say. The ducks are harvested right here on the homestead. We're going to serve them with some potatoes today and a little bit of corn this afternoon. But so, I believe that these are getting seared here. So we just want to add real nice, real nice brown to them. And the olive oil that I have in here will add like a little flavor to it. You know, it's not going to be much of a flavor taste, but it's just going to add just a little pop to it today. Now, as those keep cooking, we're going to add a little bit more onion powder on some of the ones that I missed. Salt and pepper. And we're going to let these sear for a couple more minutes on that side. We, we will be letting them cool for a, ver a minute and then I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing. Now, we have these all seared. One thing I do want you to remember, with duck, you want it very slightly seared on the edges. 
you still want to see a little pink in the middle. You do not ever, ever want to overcook duck. It'll taste chewy if you do, okay? So one reason why we are putting these in a bacon wrap and we're gonna cook them because it cooks the duck all the way through. We're so we are going to cook these in the oven. We're gonna wrap them with our bacon for 10 minutes at 375. So let's take our duck. We're gonna wrap them in our bacon. And we're gonna put a little toothpick in it. And we're gonna set them right in here in our pot. Now these are thick pieces of bacon, so we might have to do these a little bit longer to make the bacon more crispy. Uh, I think it all depends on your taste. And then we're gonna add a little bit of thyme to the tops of these, uh, just to give it a little pop of flavor, you guys. Okay, I'll bring you back when I'm done. And we're getting it in the oven. We're gonna put a little bit of thyme on here. And look at how good that looks. And we're gonna bake them. That's my oven. It is now ready. And I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. So here's our duck, all done. And let's take a taste. And now I know it's gonna be really hot. So our duck here, we're gonna just kind of cut up. We're gonna actually cut it in the middle. I think I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like, or and what it should look like. It's a little pinky. I'll take the toothpick out. <clears throat> I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, see it steaming. And we're gonna take a little taste of our duck. So folks, it's like, and I'm gonna try to explain this to you. The dark meat of a turkey leg, this is what this tastes like. Really juicy, really good. Um, the thyme on it adds a little pop of flavor and this is going to go really good with our potatoes and corn tonight as i cook it up so we have worked all day so i apologize for all of this um but cooking on the homestead is part of what we do here and i wanted to show you a little bit of how we cook and what we cook here so everyone from our house to yours. You guys all have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Toodles. Toodles.